The British Council International School Award ISA is a benchmarking scheme that accredits schools as having an outstanding level of support for nurturing global citizenship in young people and enriching teaching and learning in schools. From this project I have learned that um, it's important to learn about different cultures so that we can work globally. It is an initiative that aims to encourage better global citizenship and multicultural understanding among young people worldwide, mainly through school partnerships, whole school development opportunities, professional development courses for teachers, leadership trainings for head teachers and policy level engagements. Um, before the ISA program, we cannot field continuous assessment file. After the ISA, we learned about the project work, what is project work and how we can manage project work in a collaborative way as well as how can we introduce international learning. The ISA approach to school development is holistic and mirrors the approach teachers are encouraged to use with their students. It is rigorous and evidence-based. It aims in connecting young people in different societies for creating a safer and more connected world for future. After ISA, we have got to know about many people, many countries. So we have learned about their cultures and we have learned about our cultures. We have learned how forward they are in development and what we must do for our development. People have different cultures, so if we learn about it, then we can adjust in their environment also. Young people can play a special role in building long-term relationships between societies if they have a better understanding of the world they live in. After this collaboration with Sri Lanka and India, uh, we know many new things and various differences and similarities. We have worked with our partnership school in UK, in Goldwyn. Uh, I have never thought that uh, we would be working with international partnership school. Young people in today's world want to discover and explore new opportunities for their growth and success by being aware of how their peers in other parts of the world belonging to different cultures think and act and by embracing the importance of having open access to information and the freedom to ideate, create, challenge, discuss and debate. We just wanted to be aware. We, we, we wouldn't try to do anything else for our education but after ISA we started being in projects. I think so we have developed our skill of doing some practical works also. Before they used to learn from the books, now they are doing practically different projects. So they are learning better and their thinking horizon has also Lots. ISA is a leadership challenge and fosters team building, innovation and project management. Putting together the action plan and the portfolio of evidence encourages collaboration, critical thinking and communication. Keeping the staff motivated and enthusiastic through the year puts the head teacher and ISA coordinators leadership skills to test. So how is ISA enabling schools in Nepal to help young people realize their goals and aspirations for living and succeeding in a global society? Before, uh, if we read some kind of formulas or laws, then we just read it. But now we sort how the formula was derived, who derived it, and when was it derived, and why was the reason for deriving it. So all this, the background of the formula and the laws, we uh, browse it through the internet, through the websites. And before, we were just like uh, book-based. We were like bookworms, but now with the ISA projects, um, we all have learned about different uh, new things. We know about Indian spices. We talk to India schools with the internet, with the internet, and we search about about the Indian spices of Nepal and India. And we also do a project with SCC and CCC. We also announce that it is not allowed to bring polywax and junk food inside the school. I would say it has benefited both the teachers and the students. And if the teachers and students benefit, the school naturally benefits. The students have been engaged in project-based learning. Until now, of course, there has been teaching. The students had been involved in different kinds of activities, but they were not documented in a manner that was required by the ISA. British Council concept curriculum 
तो करिकुलम रिताब में भग विषय वस्तु तैं को सन्देश रियल क्लास सीचुएसन में रिफ्लेक्ट भो कि ट्रांसफर्मेशन भो कि भाई कुरा यो आईएसए आफ्टर आईएसए स्टूडेंट्स हैव लर्ड टू रेस्पेक्ट अदर्स कल्चर एंड रेस्पेक्ट अदर्स ट्रेडिशन एंड दे हैव लर्ड अ स्किल टू लिव इन द डाइवर्सिटी विथ अ डिफ्रेंट कल्चर पीपल डिफ्रेंट रिलीजन पीपल एंड दे हैव लर्ड टू एडजस्ट इन अल ओवर द वर्ल्ड Uh, I searched in the uh, different uh, Hindu scriptures, and I found uh, one of the very brilliant quotation of uh, Bidur, the um, prime minister in uh, the very famous epic Mahabharata. One who has the ideas about values and cultures or concept perceptions of people from different parts of the world is highly valued in the society. So this is the main theme. So there has been a lots of differences in the traditional teaching and the pr present teaching that we are doing now. So in those days, the teaching was just like the transfer of knowledge from the teacher to the students, with some notes and books in the classrooms. But now it's completely different. So they will be given some statements, some problems, and they need to find the answer of that one. For that, they can use different resources like internet. They can use their resources from the friends, or they can even talk with the Uh, with their friends in, in who are involved in the projects or the school that is involved in the project like as i mentioned that we have the partner school in sri lanka and us uh, uk so they could ask the questions to them and they would write the answers from there regarding my child i found a certain change there in the very initial stage when i enrolled my child in the school uh, she was introvert type and she was alone and the way of doing activities was quite traditional but now uh, it sounds as if she has been uh, globally fit that's the uh, biggest transformation i have ever found in my child in order to be eligible to apply for isa a school must complete eight different projects such as collaborative project with an international partner collaborative online project on british council schools online collaborative project with an in country state or private sector partner and a partner school anywhere around the world in addition to that development of 20% local curriculum having an international dimension and two other in school projects along with at least one supplementary project is compulsory for this was collaboration especially we had gained the idea from our school partner from sri lanka they had done uh, this was collaboration by using the gallon and we use bamboo uh, benefits of tp tap is that we save our time now 10 students are at once they can work no need to stay on a queue this saves the time as well as students are very happy to work together it was found by some of the students in my school they learned that trigonometry was founded by uh, some hindu uh, mathematicians Uh, while they were constructing the altars altars uh, they used for worshiping yagya and the same concept was used in egypt uh, to make the pyramids so this kind of uh, international dimension was brought there as per the reference of cdc guidelines we took some students in our locality to know about herbal plants and vegetable also so that students know about herbal plants how they grow and it's very important in our locality A memorandum of understanding was signed between Department of Education and British Council in June 2012 for the joint implementation of the International School Award in Nepal to recognize schools for their project activities and international work. IC project has been a very rewarding uh, experience uh, for the Department of Education and also our regional education offices and the district education offices and these institutions have been uh, very much uh, privileged to have the engagement that it has created uh, in the uh, school system and one uh, question that we are often hearing that how this becomes sustainable and what can government do uh, in collaboration with the british council uh, for the continuity of uh, this intervention so that all schools those who are not at part of the uh, award scheme uh, could also benefit from our uh, collaboration and also see this as a very exemplary exercise uh, for the wider coverage of our uh, interventions in the uh, school program these projects were then assessed based upon their learning outcomes by a panel which included 
British Council officials, officials from the Department of Education and Curriculum Development Centre. This award is endorsed and supported by the Ministry of Education. ISC allows learning to end on a positive note with the head teacher and the ISA team receiving certificates from the British Council when the school achieves the award. Achieving the International School Award is not the end of the journey. Actually, I would say it's the beginning of the journey. Outstanding coordinators, teachers and even head teachers have an opportunity to become British Council School Ambassadors and disseminate their learning to the wider community and other schools around them. Uh, apart from that, they also get an opportunity to be a part of the assessment panel itself uh, and uh, help British Council and the Bunnington Classrooms team to deliver and co-facilitate workshops in the future. So British Council will continue its engagement uh, with the Ministry of Education and the private sector to reach a wider number of schools through our schools program.